a senior White House official told reporters Thursday afternoon that North Korean officials failed to show up at preliminary meetings in advance of a scheduled meeting between President Donald Trump and dictator Kim Jong-un on June 12, prompting the cancellation of that meeting. The official said that the North Koreans received every opportunity to continue these talks but stopped picking up the phone when the Americans called. The official recounted the events that spawned consideration of a U.S.-North Korea summit and the events that led to President Trump's decision to cancel the summit that had been planned for June 12. The North Korean regime criticized the joint military exercise between South Korea and the U.S. last week as provocative military disturbances. The North Koreans then broke off planned meetings with South Korea. That constituted a broken promise, the official said. The White House sent its deputy chief of staff and his advance team to Singapore to prepare and meet with North Korean officials to prepare for the summit. They waited and they waited, the North Koreans never showed up, the senior White House official said. The North Koreans had promised SEC. Pompeo that international experts and officials would be invited to witness and verify the destruction of this nuclear site. However, the official noted that the North Koreans broke this promise and, in the end, only journalists were invited to witness the event. It is possible that tunnels that are part of the site were not actually destroyed. The United States has made several attempts over the past week to make contact with North Korean officials, but those attempts have not been successful. This strange lack of judgment, combined with the broken promises over the past weeks and North Korea's suspension of direct communication with the United States suggests a profound lack of good faith, the senior official said. The president's goal has never been just a meeting, but the complete denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. Asked what conditions would be needed to restore plans for a meeting, the official said they would need to see the opposite of the actions they have seen from the North Koreans in the past weeks. The U.S. policy of maximum pressure on North Korea will continue. The ball is really in North Korea's court now, said the official adding that there is a certain amount of actual dialogue that needs to take place regarding the agenda of a meeting between Trump and the North Korean leader and that it would be tough to reinstate the June 12 date at this point. China has given the U.S. assurances that it will continue to support sanctions on North Korea, according to the official. The official called the North Korean decision to attack the vice president an odd judgment call, as was the talk of a nuclear showdown. Conversations between the U.S. and South Korea, and the U.S. and Japan, involved administration officials just below President Trump, according to the official.